Hey Jay, this property really jumped out to me. I'm really interested in it. Okay, so this one's a, a unique one. This is actually out in Bluebell. Uh -huh. And so if you went past a Strawberry and out to Starvation, this is just right out there. So it's about two hours outside of Salt Lake City, but this is a very, gotcha. very unique property. It's a cabin property. It could be a primary residence, but it's got a setup which you don't see in the state of Utah. You actually have, you can have your own dock on this because you actually own the shoreline. Wait, wait, so why? Why is this unique in the state of Utah? Because the state of Utah went through and bought up all the shoreline, and so the state owns all uh, property that's land and water, you know, uh, touching each other. They mm -hmm. want to own all that. This particular uh, property, they had changed the water and the way it flowed, and so it filled up and got onto his property, and so now he has shoreline property. Interesting. Which is very, very unique. Yeah, true shoreline property. Yeah, true shoreline yeah. property, and, uh -huh. and so it's all situated, and so this is perfectly set up for somebody. A very unique thing. You don't see it all the time. If you go, look, I want, I want uh, waterfront property in Utah. You just don't see it. Yeah. Yeah, and so this is one of those unique situations. So you could have your own dock, and the, and the lake's big enough that they've got a, uh, a place to put your boat in, and there's some great fishing on there, and it's only two hours away, and so if you're looking for a not secondary far. property, no, not too far, and they've decked it out, granite, granite countertops, you know, that really nice roof they put on this thing. I mean, it's, it's a good little property. Yeah, it's beautiful on the inside. They've trimmed it out really, really nice. Yeah, and they put a bunch of cool things in there. They've got a, a ping pong table and a bumper pool and foosball and pinball and all these different things. So nice. when you bring the kids out there, yeah. you can turn them off of all the electronics and you can get back to the way things used to be. Yeah. You can take them fishing, you can take them out on the lake, you can play uh, games at night, and that's why this house is there. This, it could be a, it could be a, a, a permanent residence, but you know, they, these particular people use it as a, more kind of like a cabin property. Yeah, well I was noticing that loft up there in that main room, that was, uh, that's really cool. Yeah, it's 4,500 square feet. They've got eight That's bedrooms. Good. Yeah, four full baths. And it's on almost 16 and a half acres. So you could have a lot of families staying there with eight bedrooms. Yeah, absolutely. You get the whole family reunion out there if you wanted. Yeah, and some people will take stuff like this and they'll set them up as, you know, timeshares. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Have you ever seen that done before? Yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. Yeah, and so you could actually rent it out and uh, even the state of, the state does stuff like this where they'll get these little cabins, put them on there and, and rent them out. People go use them for the weekend. But there, that kind of shows that bonus space that kind of, kind of nice, right? Yeah. Yeah, up there above. Nice and open. Boy, it accommodate a lot of people. Yeah, perfect for a little family getaway, huh? Mm-hmm. Send the kids upstairs, and then you can get away and go out yourself and do a little fishing, and yeah. it would be fantastic. But you're, you know, you're far enough away, but you're still close enough that two hours away from Salt Lake City is not far at all. Yeah, it's still accessible. That's yeah. right. And they plan on leaving all those uh, those games in there. They said they, they've, they've moved away, and they just don't need to, need to take those things with them, so those are going to be kind of considered part of the property. You can see it's, it's, it's put together quite well. Yeah. It's most properties when you run, when you go out into these areas are not, you know, fancy. And this is, happens to be one of those really nice properties. Yeah, that's right. It has really good looking trim on the inside, even though it's kind of tucked away. Yeah. It's a really cool combination. This would be great for a family. You want to get away from it all. If you want to go spend the weekend, you know, and take your whole family and be able to, you know, have your, I you pull your boat right up to your house. That'd be great. No docking fees. Yeah. Go fishing or whatever. That's what you get there for uh, just under six hundred thousand dollars out in Bluebell.